Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine and today is part two of my massive thrift haul that I couldn't get through and I do still have so many awesome items. So if you're new here today, thanks so much for hanging out with us. If you've been here before, welcome back. First things first, let's do a little shopping and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest of the items I got. Okay, I thought these two bunnies were so cute. I loved all that texture and I thought the color was perfect. In fact, I stood there for the longest time just trying to figure a place that I could use them, but I left them behind. There I am looking at the color again because I just didn't have anywhere to put them, but I really do love going and seeing all the unique items that people have. And I get so curious, for instance, this bowl I have no idea what it's used for. And so I'm so interested to find out. And oftentimes I'll ask you guys, but we grew up fishing our whole lives as kids. And I never knew this fish board. I had to Google it cause I didn't know, but apparently you attach the tail to the top of this and you scale the fish on this board, which I feel was probably for the fancy people because we never saw anything like that but I thought the wood and the metal combined is so beautiful. And this little coffee canister, unfortunately it had a little crack in it. I thought the handle on this vase, just, I love that. It just makes it look so dainty and pretty. And I don't know why I'm moving that first vase. I wish I could see it again. It looked so pretty, but I wanted to see that rooster. And I love seeing chandeliers because I usually will pick them up for my friends that are having a baby. And you can use a colored shade over each of the little lights for a baby's room. And they just make such a cute little baby's room decor. And I think this lamp was made out of a jug or a crock. I thought it was quite unique. And I really loved this dresser. I would have ended up purchasing it, but the mirror was so faded. I could have put a new mirror in there, I guess, but I passed on it, but I just love that style of dresser. And look at these three little ladies. <laughs> they were just clumped together on the shelf, so cute. I really loved the one in the middle the most. I like that green. You can tell it's probably been in someone's garden. The color is kind of faded a little bit. And then the beak is a little bit chipped up as well. I thought she was so cute. This was a good size vase or urn. I thought that was pretty. I love the fact that this had the top 
and the soup ladle. Everything was intact. It was white. I left it there for some reason. And there was another one. And this bright color yellow, it's just so happy and cheerful. I loved these little boxes. There was, you know, when you open one, there's another, there's another, there's another. But especially I liked the font and the black on the front, but I just didn't have anywhere to put them or use them. And this little rocking horse is so cute. If I knew someone decorating a baby's room right now, I would have gotten this rocking horse for $3 and that little chandelier would be so cute together. And then just checking out the baskets as usual. I am on the hunt for a little end table and I thought this one had some cute character to it but it just wasn't tall enough. And I love these white plates with the blue stripe or the blue pattern on them. They just have that cottage feel to them. I thought they were cute. And do any of you like that rusted look as well? I just love how faded that wood is and how rusted out that saw is. I thought these would be so cute as a decoration. I just love it. The more weathered it is, the better. This is a cute idea. Someone's taken a drawer, probably from an old dresser, and they made it into a magnet board. And I'm now at another thrift store that was a ways away from the house. My son had a very important football appointment that I dropped him off and I had an hour. So I searched up and found one close by and I love this desk. Look how pretty, first of all, that wood is. And then instead of pulling your chair up to the center, I guess it's for two chairs, but I thought that was so unique. I loved that. And then just looking for some frames and oh, this owl is so cute. I had this in my cart and the sweetest little lady came up to me and said, this owl would be so perfect for my garden. And I could tell she really wanted it. And so I asked her if she wanted it and she got so excited, bless her heart. So I said, let me just film it really quickly. It was only $2, it was such a good size. I always see owls and so if you're out there, I hope this owl is in your garden and it was so nice to meet you. I thought this would be so cute in a little kid's room as well. And I have always wanted a grandfather clock that has that round top to it like this. This is just a little itty bitty one, but I'm gonna hold out and hope that one day I find one with the round top to it. I love this saying. I thought this was so awesome. Just scanning the shelf here and these metal letters caught my eye, especially that blue and white. And also this little brass vase. Look at how weathered and rusty the bottom of that is. All that patina, so pretty. And look how cute this little elephant cookie jar. I just loved this. I thought it was so cute. And I think it was only $4. Yep, only $4 for that. I kind of wish I would have gotten that. These were literally like a weight. 
They were, when I picked it up, it was so heavy and just solid marble. I thought they were quite pretty. There is a clock and I'm staring at it for the longest time. But if you can see at the top, when I pan back up, it's not rounded. It was in really good shape. Everything was working on it. But again, I decided to hold out. One day I'll find one with a round top and I'll just be so much happier. But I thought this was in super good condition and it was 125. And then this clock was kind of unique as well. It was only a dollar, so I figure it probably didn't work, but just different. I'm actually on the hunt for a large clock because unfortunately, as I was unpacking, I recently broke one of mine, but just different. I thought this chair was super unique. I just love that raw wood and it would be so cute reupholstered and it kind of has that spindle on the back and it was only $15. And then this little apothecary jar, I thought was kind of just a unique, almost a square shape, but I had just gotten to a couple weeks ago, so I passed on that. And then I'm just staring right now at the paint finish on this. I like that creamy white and that gold dry brush. And I kind of like that E font, just trying to get some ideas. Okay, I still have a lot to go through, so I'm gonna try and bust through these kind of quickly, just in the interest of time. But we'll start out with this. Look how beautiful. I'm not sure, it looks like a big soup ladle, but I was thinking I could drill a little hole right there and then hang it on a peg rail along with some breadboards and some baskets with greenery or such. But I just thought that copper was so pretty if you can kind of see that on there. But this was only $1.50. So $1.50 for that, what a great deal, so pretty. And then just a big, huge white bowl, nothing special, but I just love the little texture on it and the fact that it's large and white, good for decoration and very practical. This was $1.50 as well, and I don't think it's any special brand but just a bowl. And then these two bookends. On my last haul, I got the two brass duck bookends, which I love. And then these ones are ceramic. And I'm not sure if I'll paint them. I actually really like the blue and white. I think that's so pretty. But I'm not sure if I'll paint them or if I'll just use them as is. They're kind of cute. And they are only a dollar. Yep, a dollar each. So a good deal on those two. And then this beautiful, look how pretty that is. I love that big handle with some details on it and that spout. It's just so pretty, blue and white. And just for decor, this was $4.99. You can see that, so pretty. And then next, I found this little stool. It's just a little itty bitty. I'll even open it and see if I set it on the table. It's just short, but I thought that would be perfect for a little riser, for a plant. But I love that it's just that raw wood and it's kind of beat up, which I love so much. I could stain it any color I wanted or I can just leave it this natural and just use it for a little plant. But, oh, a lot of you always ask me the brand name because I know some of you are collectors. I don't think this is anything special, but it says Nevco Folden Carry Stool Patented. So I don't know if that means anything, but look at Folden. <laughs> That's so cute. And it was only $1.50 for that little stool. And then next I bought a couple different variations of these hooks because you can always use these around the house for tons of things. But I loved this one so much because of that yellow. It's just a pocket full of sunshine. That color is so bright and cheery and happy. I love it so much. 
but I just noticed these hooks are upside down. I wonder why they did that, but I think they are. But anyway, just a good little hook, and this was only $1.50. And I'll try and show you, actually I'll show you all of these because I got just a few of them. Here's one that's all wood, I love that. And I thought I can hang this anywhere, in the bathroom for towels. I think this one was a dollar, but the price tag is gone. And then these two, there's nothing special about them. They're just those accordion hooks. But I thought these would be great to hang in my kids' closets for some purses, backpacks, um, belts, things like that. They come in really handy and practical. And they were just $1.50 each. So a couple of those. Some of them I bought for the handles themselves or the little knobs themselves. And some I'll use around the house, like in bathrooms to hang towels or um, purses or jewelry. You can always use these. But this one, I love these little ceramic knobs and I love the fact that they're on wood. I thought that was so cute. And this was only, a, oh, this is normally home goods. I'm not sure what the original price was, but I got it for a dollar, which I thought was such a great deal. And then another one. Just another little wood. It's not really big enough or thick enough to put anything on it, but just again to hang some hooks. I love that little crackle finish. It needs to be cleaned up, but so cute. And this was only $1.50. And then my son is so into sports and he has this baseball bat that's very special to him. And we've been wanting to hang it and display it in his room. And I've been trying to figure out the best way to do it, but look at what I found. How cute is this? I've seen this before, but how perfect. I was just trying to figure out how to hang that bat in his room. And then he has some baseballs that are really important to him as well. So perfect. You hang the little bat there. The ball goes right there. Cutest little mitt. I love this so much. And this was only $1.50. And then I bought two of these. The other one looked very different. It was a lot more ornate on top. It was actually my favorite and it broke on the way home. I'm so sad about it, but it happens. So I got this one and I was thinking of buying a couple of them. I'll still look for more, but hanging those on a peg rail. And these are always useful to water the plants or you know, to make juices, fresh juice for the family. This one was only $1.50. I think the other one was $2, but I'm so sad it broke. But I'll find one, I'm sure, down the road. Oh, I forgot to show you, here's another. This one's big. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a big, and I think these are glass. I thought they were plastic at first, but I think they're glass. And it has kind of a wide top if I wanna put anything on top. I love that little bee board. I'll definitely paint it because red's not my color, but that was only $2 for that big one. Gosh, that's a great deal. So cute. If I don't drop it. And then this crate, it's just a crate, but someone's put legs on this side and I think they had it with maybe a display inside. I'll probably change it so the legs are on the bottom. And I don't know, use it for some books or some linens or towels, but you can always use one of these. And it was only $3. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I love the handles. I probably will end up painting it, but just so handy and practical. And then this, it's a good size tin. And I love that little handle on the front. I think that's so cute. And then the front, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it scoops down in front. It's got these really chunky handles on it. It's a good size. I thought this would be really cute to hang. And actually got this greenery and I'm not a fan of that basket too much. 
I thought those would look super cute together if you can see that. Just to hang on a little hook. And this was, this was $3. And the greenery, I don't know, it's fallen off. If I remember, I think it might've been $2. But I thought that would be super cute paired together and hung up. And then I have been on the hunt for some corbels for a project that I want to do with a shelf. And I haven't been able to find any, but I kind of found these two. They're not exactly the same, but they're kind of similar in size. Well, they're almost exactly the same size. And then just the detail on them is kind of similar. This one's been painted, but I thought I could paint those to match and then put a shelf on top between the two and perhaps use that. I don't know if it works out. Even if it doesn't work out, I'll show you in a thrift flip video, but they were only a dollar. Right there. So for a dollar each, I'll give it a whirl and see if it might work out. I thought those were cute. And then if anybody knows what this is, I am not sure. I can tell it's been connected to something by inside I can kind of feel like um, indentations from being screwed onto something but I'm not sure what. I just thought that was so pretty, that wood, and I like these big. I thought I could use this as decor to put a cloche on top of and perhaps a plant underneath, but I just thought that would be really pretty as some type of a decor. But if you know what that is, please comment below because I'm quite curious, and this was only a dollar. This apparently is a fishing basket. There was a gentleman there that educated me on it. And he said, you put the fish in here. And at first I was laughing because I said, well, don't when you guys go fishing, like you say, my fish was this big. And he goes, yeah, but they're supposed to fit in there. <laughs> so then I got home and look at how funny. This has a ruler. I don't know if you can see that. A ruler on top. And I'm sure that's for measuring the fish. I wish I would have seen that when he was there. We would have had a good laugh at that. But I think that's what it's for. And then I, he said you carry your hooks and your bait in here. But I thought this was just cute with that little handle to use as a decoration in a room. Just so cute and different. But that was only $5.99. And then hang on and then surprise i got some more baskets <laughs> this one i thought was super cute it's metal on top you can see that little knob and then when you open it up it's got a little chain i love that little handle it's all kind of tarnished and i thought this basket weave was so pretty and then it's metal on the bottom as well so I thought that would be super cute on a dresser or nightstand, but this was only $3. Super cute, different, I like it. And I'll show you the baskets just because we can stay on track. I thought this was kind of cute. I love those big chunky handles. I like just the shape of it, it's kind of rounded. If you can see, it's a good size. This one I probably paid too much for, $7.99. That might be a bit much, but I thought it was cute. And then this one is pink and gray. I don't know if you can see that. And honestly, I can't tell. It does not look like paint. I'm sure it's paint but it honestly just looks like that's how the wicker was, which doesn't make any sense at all. But the size is really different too and unique. $2, $2 for that. I love that. Just the fact that it's so unique and different and the color is perfect. And then this huge, basket. It's a good size. It does have one little piece that needs to be weaved in and fixed. So I'll fix that. But 
I love the little handles on it and I love that it's a good size. That'll definitely go to good use. And this was $5. And then I forgot I had these. Just a little bag of those brass knobs. There's four of them. And I thought I could use them for a dresser, but I could also use them as little feet for a stand, like a little tray, a DIY. Either one would be cute. They were only 75 cents. And then these, oftentimes when I buy hutches, the shelves are missing and all the hardware is missing. So these are just for the shelves to sit on. And they were only 75 cents, so why not? This is so funny. I say this every single day as I'm dropping the kids off at school, have for years, and then I found this. I say today is a great day to have a great day, but I could not believe I found that. That is so awesome. My kids are gonna laugh so hard when they see this, but I love that saying, and this was only $2.99. That is perfect by the back door right as you go out the door, I love it. And then these two sisters, I'll show you the big one. They are not my color, but I was thinking, because I just love all of this, look how pretty that is. I love all of that. And I love the top and the shape, this not so much, but I was thinking that I could clean them up really well. And you know that, um, frosted white paint spray. I thought I could do that to the glass, but then I was actually kind of scratching them and this comes off. So we'll see. I thought if I clean them up really well and this all comes off and it's just glass, that would be beautiful. I think that'll look so cute, but we'll see. I'll show that in a thrift flip either way. And then this is its little sister right there. I love those toppers. So cute. That one was three. And that one was three. So good deal. We'll see if they turn out. And then these adorable little, probably like a dessert dish or a fruit appetizer dish, but they are so pretty. If you can see all of that detailing on it. And I love that it has a little stand on the bottom. So cute, they're a good size. And these, I got 12 of these. No cracks, no chips, 12 of these, and they are so pretty for $9.99, so less than a dollar each. Yeah, less than a dollar each, but so, so pretty for those. And then, look at this little project that someone's been working on. I just thought that was so cute. I'm currently finishing up a guest bedroom, which is taking me so much longer than I thought, but there's a bathroom in there and I thought this would be so cute hanging up in there. And I may change this, it's just got a wire for now, but I may do a ribbon or some of that jute rope. But this was only $2.99 thought that was so cute. And then someone painted this and whoever they are, they did a cute job. I thought that would just be fun. I'm actually trying to learn how to oil paint. So right now, which is probably never going to happen by the way, but right now I'm really kind of studying all the oil paintings I see, but I thought they did a really good job. And you know, I love horses. We have horses. I'm obsessed with them. So I thought that was kind of cute. And I have a ton of frames. So that's kind of why I'm looking for pictures as well. But this, I had to stare at this for a little bit because I couldn't read it, but then I saw it was football and my son is obsessed with football. So I thought what a perfect little thing. I can paint it in his school colors, hang it in his room, so perfect for $1.99. And then I usually like live plants in my house. That's my big favorite. 
but every once in a while I will buy some greenery because inside like a, a hutch or something that doesn't see the sun. So this, just some greenery and that's the original tag. Oh, for a dollar. So why not? And then this, who knows what this is? I see them all the time. They're those thin, I don't know why they're thin. They must be thin for a reason and I can't figure it out, but I just loved it. That will be cute for decoration and I'm not sure how I'll use it. I think I might even paint it because mustard is kind of not my color, but I just really like that. And $1.50. And if you have seen one of my recent thrift flips, I took some rolling pins and painted the ends, these cute spring colors, which I think is so adorable, but I failed on one of them. So I've been on the hunt to find another rolling pin and we usually don't find them here very much at the thrift store. But this week I found four more. I can't even believe it because I never find them. $3.99, brand new for a dollar. I'll probably use that one for real. And then a dollar and a dollar fifty. And I am officially shutting down the rolling pin train because I could paint these all day long. I think they are so cute but there is a fine line between a fun project and an obsession. So this is it for the rolling pins. <laughs> I'm cutting myself off. And then you guys, I have been on the hunt for some brass and gold frames because I inserted it in the last video. You'll have to go back and check that. But this cutest little cottage store that we found and they had all these gold frames on a wall with these green and blue oil paintings, these deep colors. The contrast was so beautiful and we recently moved into a new home so I want to get some pictures of the kids, family, and then some oil paintings up on the wall. So I have been on the hunt for gold frames. I'm not going to go through all of these. In fact, some of them are so large I'm just going to flip the camera and just pan across it really quickly. So I'll show you a couple. I thought this one was so pretty. I love all that ornate detail. $2.00. Another little one with all that little detail, a dollar. This one, I don't know what I was thinking. $5.99, there's nothing special about it. I think I was just excited to find another gold frame. This one is round and it's not gold, but I thought I could paint it and then put some antique wax on it to perhaps match. We'll see if it works out, but I loved the fact that it was round, a dollar. And then this is so cute. I love, oh gosh, can you see that sun? I love those colors. That is so adorable. Somebody has painted that. There's no, oh, Dan, I love it. Dan, you did a great job. So cute. Again, I want to learn how to oil paint, so I'm kind of just trying to study things, and I have no knowledge at all, but I thought that was beautiful with the colors, and in one of those gold frames would look so pretty. Oh, $1.50. And then just a square one. I like the different sizes for five. And I'm not going to show you the rest of these, just a couple more. I just love that size. I like anything that has a unique, different size than an 8x10. And I got some 8x10s too, but that really good size, and that's got some white and brass on it, gold. It's just so pretty. And that was $5. And then this one, somebody painted it green but you can see that it's brass underneath. So hopefully I can clean that up, take the paint off and it'll be brass. And that was $1.50. Oh, this one I think is the one that I'm gonna keep. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that's not my colors, but I thought that was so pretty. 
And look how dusty. Oh my gosh, it needs to be cleaned. All this needs to be cleaned so well. But I just thought that was so pretty inside a brass frame. And that was $5. And then I just got two canvases to practice because I want to learn how to oil paint, which will probably never happen, but $1.50. And then this one isn't gold or brass, but I thought maybe I could paint it a little bit and antique it. And it was only $1.99 for a good size. And then just a gold normal frame, $2. This one, I don't know if I like the color now that I got it home. I don't know if I like that as much, but I love the little elephant on it. I think I've seen this at Ikea and all of those little balloons, heart balloons. And that was $1.99. It is starting to rain and hail outside so hard. And I love that so much. I just love the sound of it, if you can hear it. So, so pretty. This might be too big to show you here. Actually, it is. I'll show you when I can set them down behind you. And then this one for $3 for that frame. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera and I'm just going to scan quickly some of these. There's no reason to show you all of them. They're just frames, but I think it's going to look so beautiful. And when I'm finished with that project, I'll let you see. In fact, I might even show you some I have. I don't know if I got permission from the kids, but I've already gotten some photos and put them on a wall and they look so cute. And then I also have a couple other items that I'll show you and then we'll come back. Okay, this one is such a good size. It's probably three and a half, four feet tall, maybe taller, but it's a good size. And I just wanna use it for a frame. You kind of can't tell. Let me get a little bit closer. It is so beautiful and detailed, but I paid $45 for it, which is honestly so silly at a thrift store, but I just loved how large it was. And if I find a big oil painting, at least I'll have one on hand. And then these two oil paintings are so beautiful. The camera does not do them justice. I thought the colors were so pretty. I wish it didn't say apples and pears on it but they will be so pretty hung up. I'm not sure if they're painted or if they're mass produced, but this one was only $8 and then $5. And then I love these frames. Look how gorgeous that detail is. It's so dusty. They need to be cleaned off for sure. And then this one has just a little piece that's broken right there that I'll need to repair. Clean it, polish it, shine it really well. And this one was only $3 for a good size. This one was only $3. And then this one was a little bit smaller and it was $3.99, but three really good sized frames. And then look how beautiful this painting is. I love this. I love those colors. I'll replace this with a big, thick, chunky gold frame. I love that picture so much. And this one was $5.99. And then this little wood frame that has a gold center. It's got a little puzzle inside. I'll redonate that and clean up that frame a little bit. And that one was $3. And then this other chunky wood one. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a chunky wood that's still wrapped. And that one was $2.99. So some really good frames and a beautiful picture. And then I got these two large planters. I just love the style and the shape to them. And I'll paint them and distress them and do a little bit of a wash on them. I think they were for, I can't think of the name of it, that type of tree, like a topiary or a little lollipop tree, but I'm just gonna paint them, distress them, and make them so cute. And they were only 
$5 each and in good shape too. And then this is huge. I've got it outside because it was quite filthy. I needed to clean it off. It still needs to be cleaned, but I sprayed it down. I just love all of that ornate gold that hopefully I can paint around. I love those handles. I think they're so beautiful. And then that bottom, all that detailing on it and those little legs. And then I'll paint the body of it a different color and use kind of a different technique, hopefully. And this one was $7.99. And then I found this clock. It's kind of country. I took a chance on it because I thought I could remove the stain from the wood, lighten it up a bit, sand it down. And it's a really good size, but unfortunately I forgot to bring a battery. And so when I got it home, it doesn't work. And it was only $6.99, so that's fine. But I wish it worked. I may take it to a clock shop and see if they can fix it. It was a good price. We'll see what happens. And then this blue chair, I love it. It's so cute. Forgive me, my flashlight kept going on, so just ignore that. But I love this navy blue color and it's got chips and dents and beat up. I love that. And I thought I could sew a little cushion with that grain sack fabric that I love so much. Use that in a guest room and so cute. And it was only $5.49. Okay, and last of all, a few more books. I'm just getting these books for decoration for some bookshelves and for a couple other areas of the house. But I've been finding if you dig through all the books at the thrift store, there's some really cool ones in there. This one is to learn how to do watercolors from photographs. How awesome is that? So I think these are all like, this one doesn't even have a price tag. Oh, yes it does, $1.50. This one has some beautiful pictures of the ocean in it for $3. And then I found another one that's of all the mountains in the United States, or actually even the world. Beautiful pictures, gorgeous, but I can't find that one. We were looking through it the other night. So I'll have to maybe show that on another haul, but that is it. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do so. I'd love to have you come back and join me for some more projects. Please give me a big old thumbs up. It sure does help my channel, and I hope the rest of your day is absolutely awesome.